Hey, my tiny house lifers. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I wanted to talk really quick about the propane cost uh, that we have for the bus. It's not something that I really see a lot about, um, but we do, that cost does vary every month and depending on, you know, where we're located. So today, for instance, um, I got two propane, um, just like regular barbecue, 15 gallon uh, cylinders for $15 a piece at Walmart. And then the gas station that's just right down the road is um, $19 per exchange. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can exchange your propane cylinders for another one, which is usually a little bit cheaper, um, or you can get it filled, which is even cheaper than that, um, if you can get a really good price. And you can get it filled at places like, um, usually RV stores will have a propane cylinder. Um, you can search for an Amerigas or, um, uh, what are some other places like gas stations sometimes fill up propanes if they have the cylinder and the hoses uh, you'll kind of see a setup rv parks usually have uh, places where you can fill up your propane as well they're a little bit more expensive so if you're in an area there are some apps i'm sure i haven't looked up any um, but i'm sure there are apps that you can kind of see and uh, compare prices or just call around um, if you're wanting to save money on that but we carry four total let me show you, this is our propane cage. So we have four total that will fit up here. I just set those there today because I just got them and they're heavy, so I'll put them up in a minute. Um, but then that will connect, it has two hoses, so two propane tanks are connected at all times, um, and then we just have two as backup. Uh, right now, we are using, um, like our propane fridge is actually on shore power now. Um, we're not using our furnace, which is propane powered. The only thing we use propane for is hot water. And there's four of us, we take a shower every night. And um, the stove, so our stove and oven um, take propane. But I also have a toaster oven that I use as much as possible when we're plugged in so I can kind of cut that cost down on the propane. So again, if we're plugged in, my fridge it doesn't have to suck up propane. So um, that saves me some money. So about once a month, I'm going through two of those. That's thirty dollars here locally. Um, I've found places as high as I think it cost us like seventy-five dollars for just two tanks um, in South Louisiana. So you have to be really careful. This was way before we knew about any of this about different prices everywhere. Um, tractor Supply. I think you can get your tanks filled there too um, for like. Uh, when we were in Washington, we just hit up a lot of the gas stations. They had um, like rewards programs, uh, Circle K's, Giants, um, just different chains will have rewards programs. So you can get points as you're exchanging your propane and then eventually that usually adds up to money that you get off. So you can kind of get coupons and rewards for get going through the same place um, and then maybe putting it towards the purchase, you know, of future propane tanks. Um, if we're if the fridge is using propane if um we're using the furnace uh every day or at night um two tanks will last us two weeks uh, so it really varies depending on what appliances we're using but we know no matter what we we just like to have backup uh two is one one is none so if you have that motto um, you'll always have a backup so just something really quickly I wanted to cover um, I hope you got something out of it um, that's just one of the things I wanted to know before we hit the road and an expense I wasn't I didn't really factor in and didn't really know about um, but yeah so you know plug in when you can uh, have different appliances if you can like for adaptability to help save money on certain things um, and yeah, uh, like we just actually also got a coffee pot because we used to use the pour over method for our coffee right now. Um, but we had some friends over, so we decided to just get a cheap, you know, $11 coffee pot at Walmart. Well, that's saving us on propane now because every morning we're not having to heat up the teapot. We're just, you know, starting the cheap old coffee pot. So um, just a couple of different things uh, to think about whenever you're building your bus or about to hit the road. I hope it helps. Later, guys.